Who's talking? We all think a lot about what we say, how we say it, sort of the content, how we package it, um, how the process is, and who the other is, how we're going to package it for the other person to uh, really understand what we're saying. But we're really not thinking much about who's talking. So sometimes if we're in a team, we think, okay, person X is better than person Y, or the boss maybe not being uh, the the perfect candidate because, I mean, they're the boss, but maybe not the best person in front of the camera or talking to the audience, all that. But generally, we're not thinking so much about who's talking because because if we talk, we only think of ourselves as one person. Now, what I want you to think about is that this is not entirely right because we all have very different social identities that we can keep inside. Just think of it like a uniform. You have a uniform on, you present yourself completely differently to other people. You elevate your voice and you come across with authority. You act like the expert, the boss the mother, the father, and so forth. But actually, we always just think of one personality that we portray. But really, actually, if we're smart, we can go to an event, and before we start talking or while we start talking, we can bring in the concept, the image of other identities that we have. We can come up to the lectern as an expert, but we can kick off with the story us being a father who just left to the conference or a, a, a traveler just like everybody else at the airport who had to wait and had to deal with uh, customs or this sort of thing. This is a way to actually open up the perceptions and play with that. And it opens up your way to construct the communications we always usually think ourselves uh, of ourselves as one person, one personality, and something that we can't alter in this process of communications, which is not true, which I was trying to explain to you that we all have different social identities that we can throw into the whole game, not just how we say it, what we say, how we package it for different people it for different people and so forth, but actually we can play with the different social identities that we have, we can show them, or we can sort of make people imagine them um, while we talk because we speak about these sort of things and they see us very literally in a different light in their imaginary view of us.